What's up, everybody? Ginger here. I'm going to just talk about a couple topics that I have, um, that I'm creating off of this blog topic generator. So let's let's just give it a try here. I'm just going to say what's the first thing off of my mind. First topic: taking walks by yourself. Taking walks by myself, I used to do all the time, um, mainly for vocal practice. Like I would stick my headphones in and sing out in the open because nobody really goes outside anymore. It's kind of kind of like you going and singing um, to yourself, essentially. Like if, it'd be the same thing for me to just stay in here and sing as it would go out and on a walk. So might as well just go out on a walk, enjoy the scenery. Now it's more of me just, I, I have things to do and I go drive my car or my dad's car to wherever I need to go. So that's what I do now, other than walking, so. How do you create your own comic? Um, I've actually created my own comic a few times. I have this issue with creative things, um, especially now because I will start something but never finish it because I don't see it going the way I'd, I'd like it to so I usually just stop doing it which is an issue but um, hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to finish what I start from now on. My favorite novel. Okay so my favorite novel is probably the only book I've ever finished technically so it's the Chronicles of Narnia the first book. I got really into it and finished it. You know, I, I just really enjoyed that book, so it's been my favorite novel ever since. I guess, I don't know if you would call it, call it a novel, because it is a, if a novel is just a book, then yeah, then I've, I've, that's my favorite novel. Yes. But if a novel is a whole series, then it would still be the same thing, but I haven't finished. I've only finished two books, I think, from The Chronicles of Narnia. So, there's that. The best places to fish in New York, I've never lived in New York, so that's... I don't know. How about you take me to New York and we'll go fishing sometime? How about that? Old movies that rock. Uh, there's a lot. I'm sure there's a bunch of really good movies. Um, the one old movie that's coming to mind is The Breakfast Club, which is a really cool movie. Really awesome movie. Okay. Sending kid, sending a kid to private school versus public. From middle school on is just full crap. At that point, you know how to speak English, you know how to do math, and that's really all you need. You also need to learn how to be social, I guess, and you do that anyways. So, neither, I guess? That's an interesting topic because I, for my kid, I probably went to homeschool them after high school, or before, or after middle school. Unless they really want to go to high school, and everybody's pushing them to go to high school. Because for me, high school was not all that enjoyable. It wasn't all that good, I guess. I mean, if you're getting really good grades in middle school already, don't, I wouldn't do high school, because it just it didn't, doesn't make sense. But the way the world is right now, you kind of have to go to high school. But if you had a choice, I would say no. But if you're doing poorly, even in middle school, then go to high school, because it'll teach you to be better. But other than that, there's no good reason. So, lying to your kids. Some things are okay, but others aren't. So just be honest about the real stuff, but not too real, I guess. Like, don't be honest about sexual things before their time. Like, uh, sexual topics before you... Uh, common sense, kind of. Like, don't overdo it. Don't overdo it. Is baseball America's favorite pastime? I wouldn't say that. I'm American, and I... I actually would, probably wouldn't call myself American. America is such a big place. Depending on where you grew up, you're gonna be very different to the guy that was that grew up with state state next to you. Like it's you shouldn't just say one thing is is America's favorite something because it varies everywhere. Like it's a country. There's gonna be so many different favorites. Like for me, my my favorite is soccer. I'm not a big baseball fan. Best and worst sport moments beast for from soccer and I don't know if I have a best but I definitely have some worse there's three that it comes to mind right now I may not remember all of them to say uh, talk about all of them but 
the first worst one was when I was running super fast to get the ball from someone and I just face planted right into the dirt. Like I tasted the dirt and I ate grass and everything. It was bad. The second worst, the third worst is kind of personal so I'll keep it to myself. But the second worst is, was I had the ball all to myself, I was running straight to the goal, I kick it, it goes straight over. Doesn't even, doesn't even make it. Anyway. I'm gonna do one more, letting others borrow your car. Never. You're not gonna borrow my car. No matter what car it is, it's my precious. It takes me places. You're never gonna drive it. You're never gonna take, away, take it away from me being able to use it. Unless you're like a friend to me to the point where you're my brother or sister, sure, maybe. Other than that, sorry, you're screwed. <laughs> you're never gonna be able to get the car from me, so. That's it, um, my name is Ginger. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you like this video. Check out my tutorials and graphic design and website design related stuff. If you want to hear more from me outside of the videos, hit me up on my Twitter and Facebook. If you want to say anything about what I said, go ahead and hit me up in the comment section below. Anyway, my name is Ginger because it got red hair. Uh.